Hi guys, it's Asa. Today I wanted to give my speech on something that I discussed in my last video, which were outdoor activities that I like to do. I wanted to talk to you today about not really tips and tricks or anything like that on, on how to do these, because obviously I'm not an expert or anything, but I wanted to kind of break things down as far as, you know, what you need to do these things. Like what's the absolute, um, uh, you know, an absolute necessity that you would need and what you uh, should avoid uh, when doing these things. Uh, the, what I would like to talk to you today about are uh, hiking, frisbee golf or disc golf, fishing, biking, and kayaking. Uh, with the first thing I'd like to, to talk about, we're going to kind of break it, break it down in a, a least investment to most investment that you would need to do these things. Um, for hiking, there's not really a lot that you would need for hiking. Uh, what I would recommend would be a good pair of shoes. You also want to make sure that you have plenty of water. You, you'll get pretty thirsty out there, you know, while you're hiking. So with, with something like that, I have a few examples here. Um, you know, a water bottle, uh, easy, you know, you can get these just about anywhere. You don't have to buy them from the, the fancy store or anything like that. I think I got this at, uh, you know, Target or something. Uh, make sure it's, it's big enough to hold plenty of water. You don't want a little tiny one. Um, the only problem with this is this is going to get heavy. You know, you're going to be out there hiking and it's, it's, you're going to notice it. It's not going to be, you know, you're going to want to, you know, be switching hands. You want to look at something. You might need to tie your shoe. You have to set it down. It's good, but it's not what I would recommend. With something like that, I would recommend maybe something more like this. Uh, I think these are actually used for running. Uh, it's got two little, you know, uh, bottles. They're not very big. But uh, you got two of them, so it's definitely good to have. You could you basically put this around your waist, uh, so you're not carrying something the whole time. Uh, what's even better would be something like this, kind of like a camel pack. Um, it's got a, a straw here. Well, I guess it's a straw a tube that you drink the water out of, and this just goes on your back, so you don't really even notice it. Um, the shoes are very important. You want to make sure that you have a comfortable pair of shoes for something like this. I've tried going in, you know, just a pair of tennis shoes, you know, casual tennis shoes or something, and it wasn't very fun. I had blisters and it, my feet were pretty sore by the end of the day. Uh, so the next thing I'd like to talk about is frisbee golf or disc golf. Um, there's not a lot that you need to invest with something like that. I mean, this is really, if you have three of these, that's, that's pretty much about all, all you need, bare minimum to do it. You, of course, want to have something to drink too, some water. Um, but these are, are fairly inexpensive. Um, again, like I said, you probably could get away with only using three of them, uh, a long range, a mid range, and then this is just a putter. Um, you want something to carry them in too. Uh, it's it's gonna be hard just carrying all three of those before. The first time I ever did it, I, I, that's what I did, and I really regretted it. You know, you wanna have a, a light backpack or something to carry your things in. Um, and again, a comfortable pair of shoes because you will be walking. The third thing I'd like to talk about is fishing. Um, with that, there's a little bit more of an investment, You and kind of a long-term investment as well. You're going to be upgrading things, you know, you're going to start out with a pole and, and some, uh, some lures and hooks and fishing line, you know, sinkers, bobbers, uh, things like that. The other thing that a lot of people don't really think about is a fishing license. That's why I haven't been recently, is because I always tell myself I'm going to go fishing and I never really make it down there to get my license and I never get to go. Uh, and it's also something, fishing is something that you're going to, you know, you're going to need new equipment for. You know, you're going to need new hooks, you're going to need new new fishing line, and things like that. Um, but again, it's, it's really not that bad. Uh, you, you don't need, again, you don't need the fanciest pole or anything like that. Uh, the third thing I'd like to talk to you uh, about would be biking. Um, probably one of my favorites. Uh, uh, you don't need Lance Armstrong's bike. You don't need a really fancy bike. Um, it, it's kind of intimidating because you go to the Greenway and you see people riding on, you know, the street and things like that. And they do have, you know, the the best bike. You know, the bike they probably spent a couple thousand dollars on, and you know, gear that they're they're wearing and, and things like that. But you really don't need that. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend the bottom of the barrel bike. You know, uh, it's definitely good to have a bike that is comfortable to ride, and you know. Is, is not going to break on you. Um, I see a lot of people with mountain bikes, and I think that's fine, you know. Uh, but I've, I've, the, one of the first times I had ridden in, in recently that kind of got me back into riding bikes again, I had ridden bikes with a few friends, and they had nicer bikes, and I had a, 
you know, just a basic bike. I, it was a, I can't remember where it was from even. It was some, someone that, uh, or it was a bike that someone had let me use. So when we were done with it, I was exhausted and they were like, why are you so tired? That wasn't a very long ride. And I, you know, I, I didn't really know. And then they tried to ride the bike and they were like, wow, this bike is pretty difficult to ride, you know, because it, it was just older. It was kind of rusty, I guess, or something. Um, but um, with biking, you don't need, um, you know, you see people riding and they're, they're wearing fancy gear and everything. I, I, I bike in this pretty much and it's, it's, it suits me just fine. Uh, the last thing and probably most expensive thing I'd like to talk to you about is kayaking. Um, with, with kayaking, it, 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 but the boats are pretty expensive. It's, it's pretty expensive to go buy a kayak. Um, I would suggest maybe renting one first. Um, that way you can kind of get an idea of if, if it's right for you or not without having to go buy a full boat and you know pay you know a couple hundred dollars for it. Again, just like with biking, you don't need the biggest, best kayak. Um, things that you do need are you know obviously the kayak. Uh, some uh, the, the paddles and a life jacket. Um, again, a life jacket's not, I mean, uh, you don't have to wear it all the time while you're on it, but just as long as you have it with you, just in case something should happen. Uh, so I hope that this has kind of given you some insight on some things as far as, you know, what you would need to, to do these activities, and I will talk to you later. Bye.